What's going on everybody? How you doing? In today's video, this is a donation request. This is for Steve. Steve wants more. Jim Croce. So, what do we got today? We got Rapid Roy, the stock car boy. Okay. And what we found out from the first Jim Croce is he is nothing like John Denver. <laughs> He's not like John Denver at all. <laughs> okay. It's because I was like, I feel like it's going to be like John Denver vibes. Oh. I mean, I thought his name was Jim Croce, so. Right. Yeah, so... This, it looks like it's from the same concert. So, I mean, how many concerts did he do? He died at 30, unfortunately. Dang, right? babe. Why do you have to... Ooh, unnecessarily harsh. How many albums did he have? Five records? Hmm. And do you have a live record? Wait a minute. What year did he die? Yeah, 73. Damn. Oh, yeah, all the live records are all after he died. Bastards. Bastard record labels. <laughs> okay. Oh, he put out two records. Oh, was this after he died? It sure was. Wow, these bastards. 70, December 1, 73. July. When did he die? July? Okay. September. Yeah, 73. he died in September. All right. Okay. Anyways, okay. If you're new here, please subscribe. Check out my videos. All kinds of videos. Reaction videos, bass videos, music videos. Check it out. If you like the channel, you want to support the channel, you can hit super thanks underneath this video. You can hit us direct in the description. We got PayPal, Cash App, Venmo, Amazon wishlist, mailing address, and we do donation requests just like this one. So if there's something you want us to listen to, watch, talk about, hit us up direct, PayPal, Cash App, Venmo, and in the notes section, leave a description, leave a link, let us know what you want the video to be on. We'll make the video. You can also email me, jpanreadsemail at gmail.com. That's in the description also. Thank you, guys. Jim Croce, Rapid Roy, the stock car boy. Let's do this. Bam. I'd like to introduce my band over here. An acoustic guitar, an acoustic guitar. <laughs> Two different guitars. Maury Mulizen. That's Maury. Uh, we lived down in the same area back in eastern Pennsylvania. That's where a lot of these songs had their origins. Uh, it's kind of funny because when I was growing up, in order to really have some kind of luck getting a girl to go out with you, you had to have a really uh, souped, fancy super duper kind of car with a lot of chrome on it remember there was always a kid in your high school that had two or three jobs support this very heavy chrome habit <laughs> used, to, used to have the have a car that like when you'd lift up the hood it would look back at you you know one of those jc whitney specials where everything came out of the catalog but in the neighborhood where i lived you know some kids would send for the parts from the jc whitney catalog and then there were others who would go to the midnight auto supply I think every big city had one of those kind of things. Uh, there was a friend of mine named Nicky who used to walk around with a screwdriver in his back pocket and a little socket wrench. And all you'd have to do is go through the catalog and pick out the part and say, uh, Nicky, there's one of these parts down on 2nd Street, and come back with the chrome mirror and everything. Oh, no. That was a whole different time, though. Like, now it's gotten into stock cars and sports cars and everything. So where we're living is like pickup truck country. And we see the guys with the rifle racks in the back windows and on Sunday, when they aren't out cutting their lawns with the lawnmowers with the rifle racks in the back, uh, they're out at the stock car races. And we go up to the stock car races in Reading, Pennsylvania, every Sunday when we're home, and watch the guy sitting up on the bank drinking an RC cola and eating a powerhouse candy bar. So just imagine, like we're in Reading, Pennsylvania, uh -huh. which is, by the way, the pretzel capital of the world, and we're going into a time warp. It's Sunday afternoon, no matter where we are, and we're going to watch the stock car races. Oh. Whoa, rapid roar, that stock car boy. He too much to believe. You know he always got an extra pack of cigarettes rolled up in his T-shirt sleeve. He got a tattoo on his arm and say, baby, he got another one that just say, hey. But every Sunday afternoon, he is a day track demon in his 57 Chevrolet. Ain't he's a rapid roar, that stock car boy, he the best driver in the land. You know he say that he learned to raise a stock car by running shine out of Alabama. Oh, the demolition derby and the figure eight is easy money in the bank. Gonna be to running from the man in the Oklahoma City with a 500 gallon tank. And it's a rapid roar, that stock car boy, he too much to believe. You know he always got an extra pack of cigarettes 
rolled up in his t-shirt sleeve He got a tattoo on his arm and say, baby He got another one that just say, hey But every Sunday afternoon he is a dirt track demon in his 57 Chevrolet Dig it Roy's so cool, that recent fool He don't know what fear's about He do a hundred thirty mile an hour Smiling at the camera with a toothpick in his mouth He gotta go back home Name of Dixie Dawn But he got honeys all along the way And you ought to hear them screaming For the dirt track demon in his 57 Chevrolet And there's a rapid Roy, that stock car boy He too much to believe you know he always got an extra pack of cigarettes Rolled up in his t-shirt sleeve He got a tattoo on his arm and say, baby He got another one that just say, hey But every Sunday afternoon he is a day track Demon in his 57 Chevrolet was a cute one i like the other one better though yeah i like the first one yeah i feel like i liked i like the intro of the talking oh yeah i like that too you know I like the storytelling yeah yeah all right jim croce wow gonna have to check out more jim croce huh is where he's from he made it sound like he's from the city but then reading pennsylvania is that like the country yeah a lot of pennsylvania is the country frankly Oh yeah. oh, yeah, that's where the Amish are. Yeah, a lot of Pennsylvania is a country. It's really beautiful, for sure. But, um, yeah, I ain't moving there. <laughs> it is. It's really nice. It's super nice. Yeah, really, you know, like, really green, lush. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's some YouTubers I watch that live in Lancaster County. Oh, yeah. I, I looked at a college out there. Yep. As like almost a joke. It was like a joke. I was like, why are we even doing this? My mom wanted me to see like multiple schools. We all knew I was going to school for musics, you know, musics. Yeah, I said that. <laughs> well, we're, we all knew where I was going to school for music because I went to one of those families where it's like, no, you're going to college. So from a young age, it was like, okay, I'm going to college, you know, like, right? Like, okay, you're going to college. No matter if you got to pay for it, you know, forever after <laughs> all that kind of thing. You're going to college. So, uh, you know, we went, I went to Berkeley, right? Pretty much knew I was going to Berkeley. And there was another school. That, Juilliard was not on your list. Uh, no, Juilliard does not accept electric bass players. I didn't know that. I'm telling you. Yeah. Yeah. No, Juilliard is not on the list. Juilliard is a classical proper school. Berkeley is a contemporary music school. Where they accept bass, electric bass. When I went to college, there wasn't like a ton of electric bass programs, like at all. It was pretty much Berkeley, and that's like it. Mm. So there was one. There was one other school uh, in. I want to say it was in Long Island. It was somewhere out there that I looked at twice actually, and I was ser I was considering it. It was it was definitely an option, but it was still like a far number two. Like, it was still, like, far mm. far and away number two to Berkeley. Far and away. And then we went to this some school in Lancaster, Pennsylvania that, were like, it was a joke. I mean, it was all nice, and it smelled like cow farts. You know, like, it was, like, like, like all that kind of thing. But, like, you know, they were like, oh, yeah, our bass teacher. Like, they had one bass teacher. And even my mom, who knows nothing about none of it, was, like, it's like, why are we even here? We're wasting our time. This is like a joyride out to Lancaster, basically, for, for her. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so, whatever, whatever, you know, whatever. I want to, isn't that, isn't Pennsylvania where they have Hershey World? Yes. I want to go there. It's all, it's literally on my bucket list. Yeah, Hershey Park. Yeah, I've been there a couple times as a kid. I've never been there because I'm from California. Yeah, I went to Hershey Park a couple times. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we did that. Yeah, that that's a drive. That was a drive for us. I grew up in the Jersey Shore, so that was a drive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay, is that the last Jim Croce? It is the la last Jim Croce for us. Aww. Mm -hmm. Up next, we have another Glenn Campbell. So uh, be on the lookout for that. I'll uh, We'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.